Okay, so in this video, we will look at um, this example. So we have a circuit consists of R and L. And the circuit is supplied with a variable voltage source, Vt. Right? Um, so the voltage input or the supply voltage is given as this. Vt equals 20 cos uh, pi t plus 60. Uh, plus uh, 1.8 cos 3 pi t plus 15 uh, so this is um, also a representation of Fourier series in which um, we can see the um, the original or the general equation of Fourier series uh, as in the box so this is the um, amplitude phase form of Fourier series equation which is <coughs> Ft equals to A0 this is the um, AC, uh, sorry, DC component plus uh, summation of AN cos and omega naught T plus um, pi N from N equals to 1 to infinity so this is amplitude phase form representation of Fourier series so you can see that this is for n equals 1, right? Uh, n equals 1. And omega naught is pi in this case. And this is um, n for n3. And, and the same thing, the omega naught is pi in this case. So just for this example, the voltage supply or the signal is up to n equals 3 only to simplify the uh, solution otherwise uh, we will not be able to solve if we continue with um, n equals 5 7 and so on this is for this just for the sake of um, understanding explanation we will just only consider n equals 1 and 3 okay so um, to solve this first of all we have to trans um, transform or convert the circuit into S domain, right? So in this case, um, the inductive is now one s ohm and then the resistor is still five five ohm so basically when we convert the circuit from time domain to s domain uh, basically we need to convert the all the elements into um, resistor or imp uh, impedance ohm in this case right so now we have convert or transform the circuit into S domain. So now we can start to solve um, the circuit. So so let's calculate the current current of the total current for the circuit and also the average power um, for the circuit as well. All right. So. Um, First of all, for um, so let's let's calculate the Z total first, right? Z total. So Z total is uh, simply five plus S here, all right? So that is uh, straightforward. Um, and of course, if the circuit has parallel, um, parallel and series combination, you have to work out the solution first okay basically determine the z total because we want to calculate um, the total current and total power right so what is the v we have to calculate um, the current for every component right for example um, for n equals 1 v one is um, 20 with angle 60 volt right 
and then for n equals 3 v3 is 1.8 with 15 angle with angle 15 degree so this is the component uh, the voltage component for n equals 1 and n equals 3 so now we have list out uh, we have list list out the every component of the voltage we can calculate the current for every component of the voltage right so for n equals um equals 1 the current is using um ohm's law right so we can get for the current uh, divided by and z total in this case is 5 um, 5 plus s but take note here s is basically equals to j omega n and omega n is omega naught times n all right and in this case our omega is n uh, is pi or oh, omega naught is pi the fundamental frequency is pi all right so s is now j pi n all right so in this case for z total for n equals 1 um, our z total is 5 plus j pi 1 right so basically we can solve this um, and we will get the answer which is 3.387 with angle 27.86 degree right next um next is um for n equals 3 n equals 3 so same thing v for v3 divided by z total right so v3 is 1.8 with angle 15 degree uh, divided with 5 plus j and this case is pi 3 right so that uh, we get the value 0 0.1687 87 with angle negative 47 0.05 m all right so this is the current for the um, for the, the total current for the circuit all right of course uh, if you combine them um, and we present them in the Fourier series equations basically it is um, 3.387 right cos phi t plus 27 36 plus 0 0.1687 cos 3 phi t minus 47.05 degree so that is the current total current for the circuit right so next is let's look at the average power all right average power for the circuit so the equation for average power is vdc times idc plus summation of a vn in divided by 2 cos angle for the voltage and angle for the current so this is for the voltage this is this is for the current okay and from 1 to infinity all right now um, in this case in this example we don't we do not have the AC component okay there is uh, sorry we do not have the DC component for the circuit so in this case um, DC components is zero 
but we can calculate for the uh, AC component. So for n equals 1, the P average is voltage, um, which is um, 20 times current, which is 3.3. 87 divided by 2 cos 60 all right 60 is the angle for the voltage minus 27.86 angle for the current mm. 27 so, so hold on oh yeah 27.86 yes all right so that is for the um for n equals one this is um, 28.68 watt and then for n equals three the average for for the third harmonic that is um the voltage which is 1.8 times the current which is one zero point one six eight seven divided by two and then cos the angle for the voltage minus the angle for the current um, right um, so this is the voltage angle 15 and then the voltage for the current uh, sorry the angle for the Current, which is negative 47 so minus minus so the value is um, 0 0.071 what very small All right so in total the total p average is uh, basically the summation of these two values which is 28 Point seven five watt. All right, so that's all. That's the answer for the circuit. So how to determine the current and average power for the circuit?